that you control only with your thoughts. That's next. Favorite video games is about to come out, and these games have the potential to unlock secrets of the mind. As Rolando Santos reports, they may also knock down some problems for the handicapped. Wizardry of today's video games can sometimes leave little to the imagination, but the imagination is the key to a new wave of video games. There are no hand grips or joysticks here. All the action is controlled with the mind. Control of the computer is not based on effort, but on the ability to tune in to one's own feelings and one's own internal responses. It's a cross between biofeedback and a polygraph machine. These electrodes measure the galvanic response to your skin or the electrical response that your skin has to different emotions. You can't just will the character to move. You have to recognize the unconscious body response to your thoughts and be able to trigger them again at will. You're going to have a generation of video games that instead of uh, just teaching people hand-eye coordination, they're going to teach them to tune in as well. Depending on the program, you can tell your body to be excited or to relax. Creator Robert Dilt says it opens many doors, especially for the paraplegic. Someone that is, uh, can, can barely blink their eye will still have a galvanic skin response that can be harnessed and used. Dilt says it's entertaining, functional, and promising in many fields. Most of all, he says, it proves imagination is the key to making reality happen. In Scotts Valley, for Los Santos, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Those new games will have sound and movement like most video games already on the market, and you can use them in most home systems, and they should hit the stores just about Christmas time. Scan their simulator screens planning for the real thing. Video game buffs can get ready for the latest advance, and it is quite an advance in the technology. In Channel 7's Laura covers and reports, the new games are capable of some mind-boggling maneuvers. The latest member of the video game family can read your mind, and when it does, you have the power to control its every move. Our idea behind this is not the, it's, it's not the computer controlling you, it's you controlling the computer. Mm -hmm. your, your thoughts are controlling the computer, not the computer controlling your thoughts. And that's the real distinction that I think is important about this. Tentatively called mind magic, the creation of Robert Dilt and his colleagues at Behavioral Engineering works much like a lie detector or biofeedback device. When you think, your body changes. For example, your hands sweat. Through a small device that supports your fingers, a home computer may now read those changes as commands to move up or down, left or right, or to crash. Move it, <laughs> move it in your mind. Think it all the way over to the right-hand side of the screen. So what you want to do is very good. Oh my. Of course, it takes time to learn which thoughts can move an image which way. But the 28-year-old inventor is convinced that we can learn to control creativity, the subconscious, and more. The purpose of our software is that the person can get up and walk away from the computer a better person. Maybe all they know is that they were playing a game. But what will happen is that you'll be able to walk away knowing more about yourself. Right now, Dilt says he and his co-workers can't keep up with all the possibilities that have come from developing mind magic. Robert and his colleagues expect to have these thought control games on the market by Christmas. But on the drawing boards right now is another kind of computer program that could give handicapped people more control over their lives. In San Mateo, Laura Coverson, Channel 7 News Tonight. Is that something? The Mind Magic inventors say the new game will be compatible with other home computer units already on the market. Next on Channel 7 News Tonight, San Jose's cruising crackdown draws some... Behavioral engineering has come up with a new way to control computers and video games that is, in every sense of the word, fantastic. TV 36 reporter Tony Russomano tells us games will soon be on the market that respond to the power of thought. This video game is controlled not with a joystick or a paddle, but with your mind. A small educational computer software company has modified a technique known as galvanic skin response to transform emotions into computer commands. A palm-sized device senses minute changes in the skin's electrical conductivity. With almost no effort, in fact, without lifting a finger, you learn to control your autonomic reflexes, such as heartbeat and perspiration, to move objects on the video screen. The device's creator sees its application going far beyond games. The computer can now start to respond to something other than a willful uh, conscious input and can respond immediately to almost the thought of wanting to move something. It allows the computer to be to, to, to stop being something that's merely a dispassionate machine to actually be something that can be sensitive to your uh, internal right. emotional responses. <laughs>
Computer programs now in development would use a wrist strap version of the game what? controller to sense when a user is frustrated or unable to solve a problem and adjust the computer's responses to help. For those who fear this may lead to mind control, Robert Dilt says you can use a hammer either to build something or hit someone. What our device is going to allow a person to do is to learn more about how their own mind works and get and have the, the person himself get more control over their mind rather than, it's not going to weaken your mind. I can guarantee you that. The mind controller and four games are due on the market by the end of the year for use on personal computers and home video game systems. Like mind control games could be in commercial video arcade parlors by next year. If so, it could make these joystick-operated video games about as archaic as pinball machines. In Santa Cruz, I'm Tony Russomano, KICU, TV 36 News. Ability on the mind games is based not on how hard you try, but on how well you are tuned in. The control device expected to sell for about $50. Its inventor thinks it'll be especially useful to paraplegics who can still control their galvanic skin response, even though they can no longer move their bodies. The video game... It's arrived, the world's first thought computer. It's operated not by a conventional keyboard, but be warned, by the body's electric impulses triggered by thought waves. According to inventor Robert Diltz, feeding a computer by a conventional keyboard is old hat. He claims that all you really need are your own thoughts, plus a pressure pad and his top secret box of electronics. This measures the electric impulses in the skin, which change according to what we're thinking. You can play computer games without a joystick. Your own thoughts direct the symbols. And it's helped spastic children who can't control their limbs well enough to use a computer. With a device such as this, you have the potential of turning the computer from a cold, dispassionate machine into something that can actually be sensitive to human thought and emotion. The computer has now asked me to think of someone I like and someone I don't like. If it works, it will now tell me which of those two options I'm thinking about now. Well, it's absolutely right, but how it knew I was thinking of a willowy blonde, I've no idea. John Doyle, News at 10, with a thinking computer. And this is Jesse. The video game Bennett you're watching a wheelchair, is not being controlled with a joystick or game medically metal. untreatable form of muscular dystrophy. Behavioral Engineering's GSR device may help him to overcome some of the physical disabilities he's had to face. Here, Jesse is learning to control the robot Topo through autonomic signals from his body picked up by Behavioral Engineering's GSR device. Can I get this one to go? That's good. Can I get that one to go? Now turn them all the way around. Keep them going all the way around. All the way around. Now move that one. There you go. Now 